Hey everybody, it's time for my final thoughts on Steam Power, but before we get to that, please remember that this was a paid Kickstarter preview, and with that out of the way, here's what I think. Kimberly here with my final thoughts on Steam Power. This is a 2-5 to five player game that should not take you more than an hour to play, no matter how many players you have at the table. More on that in a bit, because that is one of my highlights, is the length it takes to play this. But more importantly, what you're doing in Steam Power is you are developing your company and your goal is to make the most money at the end of the day. How you do that is by building factories in cities, connecting to rails that hopefully belong to you so it costs you less money to transport the resources when you fulfill contracts. That's the game. That's the heart of the game. And what players are going to do on their turn is take two actions. And there are five actions to pick from. Super straightforward. You can do the same action twice. You can do two different actions. The first action you can do is get money. And players need money because they're going to need to build over hills and mountains, which costs money, or cross over other players' tracks, which also is going to cost money. You need to transport those resources, and if it's not from your own factory, that's going to cost you some money too. So money is an important part of this game. There are other ways to get money, like other players using your factories and rails in which they give you that money, but you can also do it by doing contracts. Um, the second thing you can do is get contracts and you just reach into this lovely tea bag. Now, I know this is a pre-production copy and right now these are beautiful velvet and they feel so good and there are so many colors of bags. They might use cloth in the final version, but whatever it is, the bags are going to be awesome. So you're going to reach in here and you're going to grab two contracts. And these contracts are like dominoes. On one side, you've got what the requirement is for um, the resources. And there are four different types. And they come from the cities that are on the board. It's going to be your black, gray, uh, white, or orange resources. And once you transport those, meaning you have access to them on a rail of your network, you're going to get what's on the right side. And that could be more actions, uh, money, victory points, important stuff. Um, the third thing you can possibly do is build rail. You are simply going to uh, build one or two rails and they connect to your network, which is through cities or extending uh, your rail if you have already started a rail. Uh, you just simply put your little colored train down and you go, that's mine. Anybody can use it, but when you use it, it's free. Uh, the next thing you can do is build a factory. You can just simply place down one of your houses, your factories, on a city that has not built a factory yet and is connected to any rail line. That's the coolest thing about this. You don't have to build a factory simply on tracks that you have built towards or through. You can plop it down where somebody has built a, a route to and essentially say, if you want those resources, because when you build a factory, it populates five resources, you have to pay for it. Every resource you pay from a factory that's not yours is one, one dollar to them. It's so cool. It's a clever system because most rail games, it's about building up your network and your most efficient line connecting only and using your rail lines. In Steam Power, you get to use other people's factories and other people's rail lines as long as you are connected to those two things. And then the fifth action is fulfill a contract, which I talked a little about in the drawing contracts. But when you fulfill, you simply say, oh, I have this orange, I have this black, I have this white resource, paying people what you need if you need to, and then just getting what's on the other side. So this game is efficient. It is streamlined. It is clean. And I love how just straightforward it is. And it does take an hour, no matter if you're playing with two three, four, five, it is a set number of contracts that a player has completed that will trigger the end of the game. And it is scaled for those players two to five. Plus, I love this, there's a first player marker, everybody gets equal turns in this game. One player triggers it, and let's say it's the first player, everybody else is gonna get a chance to go. If the last player triggers the end of the game, everyone had equal turns and it's going to end. And you're simply going to score up the points you've earned on your contracts, the points you have earned on your exhausted owned factories, and then there are these little uh, purple cities that you get to, and this is all about if you get there and you're the only one to get there, you get four big ones, you get four points. 
But if other people connect to it, you start sharing the points and there's still just four points to go around. So it's it's just a nice system. It's, it's just so compact. And the cool thing too is that the board is this beautiful cloth, silk cloth, a fabric that's been printed on. It's easy to lay out. It doesn't crinkle. It doesn't warp as with your cardboard boards. It's not messy. There's no like, residue or anything and it's beautiful i really like the map and in the base game what you're going to get is three maps now i played on one map that didn't have a whole lot of difficult terrain there's more difficult terrain in the other two maps and if they get a chance to with the campaign there's going to be three more maps and you can have six and that means you got the just the difference you've got the versatility you've got the i want to play on this map i want to play on that map i want to play on this map and every time you play these cities down onto your map while the city locations are the same places, you don't know if it's going to be an orange factory, a white factory, a black factory, or a gray one, or the purple ones. So that is going to be a very, it's going to change it up essentially. And so you'll have a nice variety of maps to pick from. And there's even going to be these cat maps. So there might even be additional maps on top of the three and then the six uh, possible total maps. Now I do want to talk about these resources. So in the run through, you probably saw me with these resources. They do nestle on each other, but they're tiny bits. They're super tiny bits. And uh, they might be a little fiddly. Uh, they kind of remind me a lot of those bamboo uh, in Earth where you're stacking up like maybe six bamboo on top of each other and they're kind of doing like this little, you know, will they, won't they fall over and then scatter everywhere. These, not as bad, but I hear from across the pond, <laughs> as this is a pre-production copy, they're still working on making this game as good as it can get. So they're gonna make these little bits bigger than what you see in my run through. Um, and they're gonna work on a way to make them a little bit more manageable. So they're still honing it, they're still figuring it out. So little bits, you're gonna stack those resources, but they're still doing that. So I mean, just a bunch of fantastic, fantastic stuff here. I like that this game takes 60 minutes to play. Most of these train games are full of fiddly bits. Not not so much here. You've got your um, you've got your factories and you've got your tracks and then you've got or your trains <laughs> and then you've got your city locations and then your tracks and the tracks are double sided. So when you want to uh, go straight. Your straight's on one side, your curve, your slight bend is on the other side, and there are those special tiles that allow you to cross over, um, which has a cost, but is just nice. You don't get totally hemmed in in this game, because sometimes you also get blocked out of places, and you can, I mean, you can block someone out of a place, but it's really hard to, because you can go through cities, and that means that you're going this way, and someone else is going that way, um, but I like that there's just so much here that makes it fun, that makes it fast, that makes it efficient, that makes it clean. Um, I think the contract system is brilliant because you want to have more actions than other players in this game. And if you use your tracks and your factories just right and fulfill contracts, you get bonus actions as part of fulfilling contracts, which means you get to then lay more track. Then you get to build more factories with the super cool bonus of one less or one more. You get to draw new contracts by fulfilling a contract. I mean, come on, it's just a race. Again, you wanna get more actions in the same amount of turns as everyone else, and it's just about being super efficient. So it is just a really, really delightful game. And another thing they're gonna have too, these are dominoes and you kind of stand them up like this where you can see them, but they're gonna be these little trays that are gonna allow you to look at your contracts without showing everybody else at the table. And that's gonna be part of the uh, campaign as well. So a ton to like in this box. Again, that replayability is there, the versatility is there, um, the bits, nice, clean, easy to use. And I love the map. I mean, I want, I want, I mean, this is nice. It's just so, it feels good. It looks good. It lays flat and it fits in the box so much better than a cardboard box does. A cardboard, uh, you know, um, um, the cardboard board. <laughs> trying to think of the same word that, that I just said. And I think I'm going to end here. This is my final take. This is like the, the thing I really want you to take away. 
If this is going to be your first train game, yes. Like this is how you play your first train game. This is how you share train game <laughs> love um, with everybody else because it is just, again, so easy to get into, but it is replayable. There is a lot here and it is loads of fun. Nice scale from two to five players, beautiful bits. And again, just some great stuff in the uh, campaign for the um, uh, Kickstarter campaign. So loving it, loving it. And again, I keep saying it's my last thing, but wow, Martin Wallace, one of my favorite designers. That's the one reason why I picked this game. That's why I said, yes, I have a whole shelf dedicated to him. So just, just juicy, just nice bit here. I'm loving steam power. All right, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye.